Hey, this is Carrie with Trinity Wellness TV, and Ashley and I are going to be doing calf stretches um, with foam roller, and then we're also going to use pinky balls um, to restore our feet. So today is calves and feet. Um, we're going to start, there's two different types, well, there's many types of foam rollers. This one's a higher density one, um, it's long, you'll see in soon segments of other additional things that we can do, but so she's just demoing, I'm just showing you a shorter one, um, this is a great one for travel, so these are actually equal dis uh, densities. We're going to start with one calf, so you've got, let's think of the, breaking the leg into three parts, so we'll start at the high part, the, the top of the leg, um, and then you can kind of lean back and just roll left and right. And for sake of time, um, I just want this to be an educational piece so that you can take this with you, do it at your office, do it at your home, whatever, whenever. Um, but let's just go three repetitions, just side to side. If it's really tight, it feels like that. So another way to ramp that up, make it harder, you could cross the opposite leg over. So you watch your face on that one. Yeah. And then there's one more level. And you just press up in your arm, and it feels like that. Some people laugh when they're me. It hurts so good. It hurts. So that's option one. Now, let's go a little bit lower. Where the two muscles meet, so right at that midline where the, the gastric union meets, let's go halfway. Some people get really tight. Ah, tight there. I guess I'm going to look one of them. Ow. That's you. Woo! <laughs> Feels like that. So you just rock side to side. Same thing. You can always add on. Oh. You can add on, if you jump a lot, run a lot, um, if you play soccer, this is for you, um, and then bridge up. I would say stay there. There's kind of those little, I call them speed bumps, so as it goes, you can kind of go, uh, uh, and it feels like there's a little ridge in there. Um, think about ironing and smoothing out that ridge. Let's go to the lower part of the leg, Ooh, the soleus, um, and then rocking side to side. So we're... <laughs> This is the best way to describe this in, in my vision is when you cut against the grain, like in a, in a meat, um, we're rolling against the grain. The grain runs up and down, so we're going against it. That's why this is kind of brutal. Ha! Huh, like that. So you can go with those three parts. Um, another way you'll see this a lot is you'll start at the top and just go the full length. Um, it requires you to press into the hands and let's try it. Rocking the foot <laughs> inside and outside. <laughs> Woo! Uh, and then you could also cross over. Sometimes people's wrists don't love that. Um, so uh, that would be why you would want to just keep the body weight to press down and in. Uh, so there's the calf. Now we're not going to omit the shin. Um, so that's the back of the leg. Now we're going to address the front of the leg and then we'll go to the foot. So the front of the leg, there is your shin bone. The shin bone is here. If you roll on that, that will not feel good. You want to be on this side of the shin. So what would that look like? You'll just come over and then turn your knee down and out and then it's going to come forward and back. Sometimes you don't even know your shins are sore. But this is also kind of a two for one. It stretches the booty uh, as well as the cinch. So maybe just three to five times to start. There. And breathe. And now we're going to roll through the feet. So um, before we get to the foot, to show some options, um, these are actually inside here. These are called pinky balls. These are their feet ball. It's a little more dense than a tennis ball. Um, a racquetball, you could use a racquetball, you could use a golf ball, you could, I don't know, what other balls you see? Some have little spines on them, so they're really aggressive to the foot. Um, a lot more dense, you could use a softball. A soft, ooh, a softball would work. I don't know, the pink ball just seems to be the best choice. So. I'm going to lay it down. I keep this actually in my bathroom, so when I brush my teeth, I roll my right foot. On the top teeth, get the right foot. Bottom teeth, get the left foot. So this is a daily thing that I do in the morning and at night. Um, so let's stand up. And then 
imagine part of plantar fasciitis is, um, again, I've had this injury. I've done several hours of physical therapy. So I'm trying to give you some tools to prevent that from happening. So if you wake up and you have a lot of heel pain, um, that might be, I'm not a doctor, I can't diagnose that, but um, you, if you have a lot of heel pain, this might be a tool that you could use to help prevent that from getting worse. Um, and that's by rolling through the arch of the foot. So stepping in, I'm going to kind of overdo my toes. So I'm trying to spread my toes super wide. And then I'm going to bear some weight into the top part of the foot. I'm going to wrap my toes around it and squeeze it to death. So I'm trying to not only stretch and pressure into the muscles, I'm stretching these top portions here, but I'm also trying to squeeze it tight. And a part of fasciitis is actually strengthening and stretching. So we're going to back off. Let's take it down now. So we were up high. Now let's go a little bit lower. So just um, at the top part of the ball of foot, still again, wrapping the toes, squeezing tight, bearing weight up into that foot. And then back off. Let's repeat that process down to the arch. So we're in the arch. I'm stepping in the arch. I'm squeezing the ball. I'm trying to tighten my toes into a really ah, tight fist. And then back off. Now let's go still at the arch just above the heel. So bearing weight, oh, bearing weight into it, squeezing my toes. So now my toes aren't on the ball at all. And then we'll back off. So if you have active plantar fasciitis, heel pain, avoid the heel. Don't go there. If you're okay to go there, maybe you're like, oh, it feels okay. So then go ahead and pressure into the heel. So we started at the toes, we worked our way to the heel. Now we've got one more little sequence. This is actually what I do daily. I'm gonna draw an imaginary line from my big toes through my arch to my heel and then back up. So with that ball, I'm gonna draw that line. It's gonna be wiggly because it's, it's my foot. So then I'm gonna repeat that same process through each toe. So I'm just pressing in, I'm trying to bear weight in through my arch and then come back. So just to give you that visual, if that doesn't make sense, draw a line using that ball, rolling down and then rolling back up. And then go to your second toe, just moving slightly over. So you work all the way down to the outer part of that foot. So you're massaging uh, through the arch. If you feel any little kind of speed bumps in there, that scar tissue that's built up, I learned that through physical therapy. Um, so that helps to break that up. So really, plantar fasciitis often is weakness in the feet, um, overtraining, maybe improper footwear during activity, high heels, or um, if you do have an active case of plantar fasciitis for a good year, I couldn't go barefoot. Um, I had to wear Chacos, really supportive um, therapeutic type shoes. I was put in a Brooks Beast um, to plug um, Elite Feet and Edmund. They're really great at helping you find the right shoes. Um, so that, that really is key to, to look at rotating your shoes whenever you do different activities. So that's, that's um, foot rolling and calf stretching in a nutshell. Any questions? Oh, the right foot feels great. So now let's do the left foot. Have a good day.